हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू डैक प्रोजेक्ट्स आई एम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑफ चैट ऐप सीरीज एंड दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ अवर चैट ऐप एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी विल राइट द कोड फॉर ओ टी पी ऑथेंटिकेशन देन वी विल राइट द कोड हाउ टू सेंड द यूजर डेटा ऑन रियल टाइम डेटा बेस एज वेल एज ऑन क्लाउड फाइव स्टोर सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू वेरी लॉन्ग एंड वी विल राइट लॉट्स ऑफ कोड एंड आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो केयरफुली एंड प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो टिल एंड सो डोंट फर्द डिले नाउ लेट स्टार्ट दी वीडियो एंड इफ यू न्यू टू अवर चैनल दैन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द लाइक बटन टू दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर राइटिंग एनी कोड सिंपली ओपन योर प्रोजेक्ट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज माई माई चैट एप टूटोरियल प्रोजेक्ट एंड आई लीव द प्रोजेक्ट हेयर सो क्लोज दिस एक्स मेल एक्टिविटीज वी डोंट नीड दिस राइट नाउ एंड ऑल्सो क्लोज दिस जॉब फाइल नाउ वी हैव टू कनेक्ट अवर प्रोजेक्ट विद फायर बेस बिफोर राइटिंग ओ टी पी ऑथेंटिकेशन कोड और एनी फायर बेस कोड सो वी हैव टू कनेक्ट अवर प्रोजेक्ट विद फायर बेस सो फॉर दिस यू हैव टू ओपन एनी ब्राउजर आफ्टर ओपनिंग एनी ब्राउजर सिंपली कम ऑन टू द कंसोल विंडो ऑफ फायर बेस एंड यू कैन इजिली कम ऑन द कंसोल विंडो इट इज़ वेरी इजी नाउ आफ्टर दिस यू हैव टू डू सो सिंपली क्लिक ऑन एड प्रोजेक्ट एंड आफ्टर दिस यू हैव टू गिव एनी नेम टू योर प्रोजेक्ट नेम सो आई सिंपली टाइप है माई चैट एप टूटोरियल सो यू कैन गिव एनी नेम इट इज़ योर चॉइस आई गिव द नेम माई चैट एप टूटोरियल देन आफ्टर दिस वट यू हैव टू डू you have to come down and then you have to click on continue now select any account for firebase so i simply type here select the default account for firebase then click on create project it will create our project so now our new project is ready so click on continue and after this this page automatically get refresh and you will open on directly come on to the my chat app tutorial project so you can see this is done now we have to our add our android app to this project so you have to click on this icon android and after this you have to give your package name so your package name so simply open your android studio and after opening your android studio simply open any activity so this is our package name so simply copy this package name control c then open the console again then paste the package name here now it is your choice whether you want to give here app name or not it is your choice so you can give or not so i simply type in my chat app tutorial then after this this is one of the most important thing you have to give the sha1 authentication key to use the phone number authentication you can see required for phone number authentication so this sha1 key it automatically generate inside your project so i will show you how to generate this so simply open your android studio and click on gradle after click on gradle simply expand this then expand the app then tasks then here you have to click on android and after this you have to click on sign in reports and double click on it and when you double click on it the project automatically get start building and after building the project you will get your sha key so let's wait for some time now our sha key is built successful so you can see this is my sha key i hide this sha key sha1 key because it is some crucial data so i don't want to share and i also recommend you don't share this sha key so this is sha one key so you have to simply copy this key from here to the last so control c copy and i after this simply open your project and simply paste the key here and after this you have to click on register app then after registering the app what we have to do we have to download the json file so let's wait for first of all now you have to download this json file so click on download google services dot json now it get download successful after this click on next and it will say to add a stk to firebase so we don't need to do anything here so we can directly go and after this you have to click on next then we have to click on continue to console so our chat app my chapter tutorial is successfully added here now what we have to do we have to open our android studio so first of all simply open file explorer and from here we have to copy the json file and we have to paste that json file inside our android studio so simply come inside your download section and you can see this is the json file so i have to copy this json file so click on this and then right click then click on copy open android studio again minimize this also so open click on project here select the project from here and after this expand this folder and then you have to click on app right click here on app then you have to click on paste and after this you have to simply delete this extra words because i have all lots of json files that's why it automatically added so your json file should the name google dash services dot json and then click on refactor so it automatically add this json file here so 
Now this file is edited successfully and from here you can confirm your project name, my chat app tutorial so you can see. Now it means everything is fine. Now close this JSON file. Now we have to add our project with Firebase. Our project add our own console but not from ID. So you have to click on tools and then you have to click on Firebase from here. So after this you have to click on authentication expand the authentication tab and when you have to click on authentication using custom sign in so you can see it's showing our project is connected with firebase so you you it mean everything is fine now for using authentication we have to add some dependencies so for this you have to click on add firebase authentication sdk to your app and then you have to click on accept changes so after click on accept changes it will build the gradle so let's wait for some time so now it added successfully so minimize this so now come back and also we will have we have to use firebase real-time database and cloud firestore it is better to add these dependency also now so expand real-time database and click on this get started and click on add real-time database and click on accept changes now real-time database is also added successfully back expand cloud firestore click on cloud firestore click on add the cloud firestore sdk to a wrap and then click on accept changes now the last thing we have to add our cloud storage so go back and expand the cloud star storage for firebase click on this and then you have to click on add the cloud fire storage sdk and then click on accept changes so it will also add the dependencies now this is also added successfully so minimize this so everything is done project setup is correctly now we have to open console window so this is a little bit lengthier process but for making big project we have to do this now after this what we have to do now what you have to do you have to click on this authentication then you have to click on get started after this click on phone then enable it and after this come down and click on save so it will enable the authentication for our phone now click on this firestore database we also have to enable this then click on create database and for now you have to start this database in test mode so now click on next then click on enable now click on this real time database then we have to click on create database and after this click on next and then we have to start this also in test mode then click on enable and it will start this now the last thing we have to do inside our storage so click on this storage option there is no need to enable the storage it is automatically enabled so don't worry we have to do not we have we don't need to do anything here so now we can close our chrome browser so i close my chrome browser and everything is set up and we are ready to write the code so it is very lengthier process so now finally we are ready to write our main code so click on android and open this android now open the authentic otp authentication activity and from here we have to start writing our main code so now we have to write code first inside our main activity so click double click on your main activity and here i have to show activity main xml file and i open this design first of all i close this otp authentication java now after the splash screen appearing we have to show the main activity if user not logged in or we can say if user not signed in so then we so for this we have to write code inside our main activity.java so let's wait for initializing the design then i will write the java code so you can see our main activity contain a country code picker and a edit text where we can take the number from user and then we if we click on send otp button then we have to send the otp to that number so for this we have to write all code inside our main activity.java so press enter first now we have to declare some variable for first of all the first variable is of edit text type so i simply type here m get phone number you can give any variable it is your choice now click on it and press alt plus enter now one variable for button type android dot widget dot button and then m send otp now maybe you wondering why i type here android dot widget dot button so be because if i want to type cast the then i have to use the same variable so you i click on send otp you can see i take the button of android dot widget dot button type so that's why i have to give take the same type here so hope you understand now after this i have to take a variable for country code picker type country code picker and i give the variable name m country code picker so you can give any variable it is your choice now why i add an extra m here because i want it is better to easily identify the variable so let us suppose if i click on this so i give the variable name here m country code picker and i simply add an extra m here so i can easily assign the xml id into java id and it will not create any confusion so it is better naming convention and now i have to take a string country code to store the country code which is selected by the user and i have to take the string phone number which contain the final phone number with the country code so hope you understand now we below this we take a authentic firebase auth type variable so i simply type here firebase auth firebase auth 
then below this I have to take the variable of progress bar type to make the working of progress bar so I simply type here m progress bar of main then semicolon now this is done now click on it and press alt plus enter now I have to take the variable of phone auth provider later I will tell you what is the working of this so when here you have to type here phone auth provider dot on verification state change callbacks m callback so you can give any variable name I give the variable name m callbacks and below this I have to take the variable of string code sent later I will tell you what is the working of this string code sent so I will tell you later all things now below this first of all we have to assign the xml ids into our java ids so let's do it quickly so first of all m country code picker equal find by id r dot id dot country code pick country code picker now below this we have to m send otp button type find by id r dot id dot send otp button now below this we have to m get phone number to take the number from user find by id r dot id dot get phone number now press enter now we have to type the take the variable of progress bar and progress bar of main equal find view by id r dot id dot progress bar of main now below this we have to take the instance of firebase auth so it will show the current user whether the user is logged in or not so i have to take the instance of firebase auth so i give the variable name here firebase auth this is small f must remember this firebase auth equal capital firebase auth dot get instance so it will get the instance of current user now I have a variable of country code so by default I set the country it will depend on in which country you are present so I already assign the you can see area code detected country true so it will automatically detect this country so in country code I have to store the what is by default country is selected so I can simply type here m country code picker dot get selected country code with plus so firebase also required plus with an country code to send the OTP so hope you understand this so by default i store inside this country code now let us suppose if someone's country is not correctly appear here then if someone want to change their country then i have to simply type here m country code picker that dot set on country chain listener then new then capital c and press enter so if someone change the country then we have to simply store that new country code inside our country code variable so i have to simply type here m country code picker dot get selected country with plus so hope you understand this now after this i have a country code inside my country code variable now for sending the otp i need a number and then i have to combine the string of number with the country code and then i have to send the otp so for this why I, what i have to type here i have to set on click listener on send otp button m send otp dot set on click listener new then capital o and press enter after this if someone click on send otp button then i have to check first i simply take a string type here number you can give any name it is your choice it is local string so we don't need to take it globally now inside this i have to place here number equal i have to take the number from our get phone number edit text dot get text to string after this i have to simply check if number dot is empty let us suppose user does not enter the number and click on send otp then i can show a toast here so i simply type here toast dot make text get application context then any toast message so i simply type here please enter your number then any toast length toast dot length short dot show so this is done now i simply copy this toast because i have to need use this toast again and again after this i can check one more condition else if number in india the number length is less than 10 so i simply take care if number less than 10 then it means this number is wrong so i can again display a toast here please enter correct number so you can display any toast it is your choice now below this if everything is fine then what i can do i can simply send the otp to that number so i simply type here else then first of all i have to visible the progress bar so i simply type here m progress bar dot set visibility and i simply type the visibility visible to make the progress bar visible then after this below this we have to combine the country code with our phone number so i already take a variable of phone number type so i simply you can see this is our phone number type variable inside this i have to store my final number so first of all i have to concatenate the country code with our phone number so number number contain the which is entered by the user and country code contain the country code and then i simply add these strings and i finally add these string store this string into phone number so hope you understand this is very easy now from here we have to start our main code so i have to simply type here phone 
auth options so it will the firebase code then i have to give any variable name i give option then new then you have to simply type here phone auth options dot new builder and inside this you have to pass the instance of firebase auth firebase auth now after this we have to set the phone number and inside this we have to pass our phone number to which we have to send the otp below this take a dot set timeout if you want to resend the otp then i have to simply you can type here 60 seconds so it will send the otp after 60 seconds then again press enter and dot then i have to set the activity which is our current activity main activity dot this then i have to type here, to here set callbacks and inside this i have to give the variable name m callbacks so it will it will automatically activate this function and then i have to simply type here dot build then semicolon so it will automatically build this function now below this we can type here phone auth provider dot verify phone number so first it will check whether the phone number is correct or not so verify phone number and inside this we have to pass this object which is options now below this come outside from this else part and also come outside from the send otp all click listener so if i click here you can see it is the on click listener of send otp so press enter first here and for avoiding the confusion there are only two brackets left at last so now we have to type here m on callback function to check whether the number is correct and if the number is correct then we have to simply send the otp so this is just a function to verify the otp and verify to send the phone number and pass the current context now the main otp work from here so inside this what we have to do we have to type here m callbacks equal then new then phone auth provider dot on verification state change callback so it automatically write the whole code you can see now what is this on verification completed it means if you does not want to user enter the otp and your app automatically fetch the otp then you can write the code here so i simply type here comment in future if you want to use this how to automatically fetch the otp you have to type code here if you in future if you want to improve your app now below this i i have to implement the main where user can enter the otp by its own by its own so i have press enter after this bracket and i have to take the override method override implement methods and then i have to use this method on code sent then click on ok so it automatically write the whole code simply add a semicolon here so now this s variable this will send the code now after this what i have to type here it means everything is fine this function if run then it means the code is sent successfully to the user so i can simply type here control v toast so i simply type here code is sent or we can type here otp is sent after this below this what i have to type here first of all i have to remove the progress bar and progress bar of main set visibility dot set visibility and i would simply invisible the progress bar now what i have to do i have to store the otp which is sent by the firebase inside this s very code as sent variable so this s contain the code which is sent by the firebase and i store that variable inside this code send so why i store inside this because i have to verify the otp in next activity so i simply store this here and then i will take the code pass the code from this activity to otp authentication activity so i can verify it so if you have a otp verification inside in the main activity then you don't need to do this then you don't need to do this but if you want to pass the code then i have to store this code inside a variable then i can simply pass this code using an intent so i simply type here intent intent equal new intent and inside this after successfully sending of the code i have to simply redirect the user from this main activity dot this otp verification otp authentication dot class then i press enter and inside this i have to pass this code which is sending by the firebase so i simply give the variable name if you pass to pass the variables using intent then you have to inside you have to pass the inside code key key and value in format so i this is the key which is otp and this is the value what code send start activity after this start activity intent so this is done so this code is only for sending the otp from firebase now one more thing we can do remove an extra space here let us suppose if user first time open the app then we can simply send the otp and then user verify the number now if user again open the app then i don't want to again send the user need to again send the otp then again verify so we can do one thing so i simply add a override method here override implement method on start and inside this what i can do i have to check whether the user is already exist or not so i send simply type here below this if firebase auth dot get instance dot get current user and if it is not null then it means user already verified and user is already logged in inside our app 
then I can simply re redirect the user for from this activity to our main activity new intent and I simply type here main activity dot this to chat activity which is our main activity dot class and then I have to start this and then I have to clear this activity intent dot set flags and inside this you have to type here intent dot flag activity new task flag activity clear task so it will clear this activity and then we have to simply start this activity start activity and inside this you have to type here intent so if user is already logged in then this whole code is automatically get skipped and we can successfully come on to to the chat activity now we have to write the code for otp verification so simply expand your otp authentication activity and we, here you have to write the whole code so inside otp authentic verification first of all we have to declare some variable so first variable is text view type so if user want to change their number then we can do this chain number then second variable is edit text type edit text get otp where user enter the otp and then a button to when user click on that button verify the otp so i give the button name m verify otp then we have to simply take a string here so it it contain the entered otp which is entered by the user and then i have to simply declare the firebase auth type object firebase auth firebase auth again and then I have to type here progress bar and progress bar of OTP auth then semicolon now let's quickly assign the XML ID into our Java IDs so first of all I have to type here m chain number equal find view ID r dot ID dot chain number then m verify OTP equal find view ID r dot ID dot verify OTP then m get OTP equal find view ID r dot ID dot get OTP then m progress bar of otp auth equal find view id r dot id dot ot progress bar of otp auth then i have to take the instance of firebase auth so it is necessary firebase auth dot get instance now we have to write code for first if someone want to change their number m chain number dot set on click listener then new then capital o and press enter so if someone want to change their number then we can simply redirect the user from this activity to main activity again so i simply copy this code of intent so i can simply use this code intent intent control c copy otp authentication simply paste the code here remove the intent set flags and we have to redirect the user from otp authentication to our main activity now this is done now below this what i have to do if user click on m verify otp then we have to set on click listener new then capital o and press enter so first of all entered otp inside this what i store i will store m get otp which is otp which is entered by the user m get otp dot get text this is our added text to string now we have to if check first of all we check if entered otp is empty then it mean user does not enter any otp so i can display the toast here toast dot make text get application context and inside this enter your otp first so you can give any message it is your choice then i have to simply display the toast toast dot lens shot dot show now if user enter the otp then we have to verify the otp whether the otp is correct or not so i have to take the code inside our else and inside this first of all i start the progress bar and progress bar otp auth dot set visibility visible to show whether the progress is going on or not now inside this first of all i have to take the otp which is center center, center by, which is sent by the firebase so i simply type here take a string here code received type i can give any name now i have to take the string using an intent because i pass that code from our main activity so i simply type here get intent dot get string extra and i simply give any i give the name otp which is our key so inside our main activity you can see i pass the otp inside our otp this is the key so i can simply use this key to fetch that value code received so this is code received which is sent by the firebase and entered otp contain which is the otp entered by the user now we have to simply compare these codes so we can we can't directly compare the code because firebase otp is authenticated in a key value format so we have to use firebase function for this so i'd simply type here phone auth provider phone auth credentials sorry then we have to give any variable name credential then phone auth provide phone auth provider dot get credential and inside this we have to pass code received we have to pass here code received and second thing is entered otp so this is done now we have to 
simply call a function here sign in with auth credential so i will create this function later and inside this what i have to pass the credentials now come outside from this bracket and simply press, press enter first leave only one bracket and we have to create that function here so i can simply type here private white sign in with phone auth credential and inside this we have to take the credential of phone auth credential type phone auth credential credential and inside this what i have to do i have to write the code so first of all i have to simply type here firebase auth dot sign in with credential and inside this we can pass the credential that dot add on complete listener then new then capital o and press enter so it is very easy code and i will try to explain everything and and you can also see this is very easy code and i summarize or minimize the code in very easy way so if you don't like the video till now then please like the video now after adding on complete listener so we can simply check here if task is successful if task is successful then we have to simply remove our progress bar so m progress bar of otp auth set visibility invisible after this what i have to do i have to simply give any toast here toast dot make text get application context and inside this we can type here login success so you can give any message then toast dot length short dot show and after this what i have to we have to move the user from this activity to our chat activity so i simply take a intent here intent intent equal new intent we have to move from otp authentication this to our set profile activity dot class and then we have to start the activity intent and we can finish this activity now if something wrong happen then what we can do we can simply write the code inside our else else and we can type here if task get exception if something wrong happen then we can simply display that error so we have to simply take an instance of firebase auth invalid firebase auth invalid credential ex exception if something wrong happen then we can do we have to simply take this we have to make the progress bar again invisible and then we can simply type here login fail let us suppose user enter wrong otp or something or anything else happen now what we have to do we have to simply add a semicolon here so this is done now our otp authentication is complete now it's time to check our app before writing on main code offset profile how to store the data in on cloud firestore as well as on real time so before writing main code first of all we check whether the otp is come or not so for this i have to check my connect my phone and then i will run this app so i successfully connect my phone and now for running the app i have to select app here because i generate the signing report so that's why it's showing here so select the app from here and simply click on run button and gradle start building now it will build the application so now application builds successful and now it will install the application inside our phone so application installed successfully so it shows splash screen first then after this i am not signing so that's why it's showing this to select the country so you can select any country it is your choice by default the india is selected so now i enter my phone number so first of all let us suppose if i enter wrong number so i enter this wrong number then i click so you can see it says enter correct number so i i enter my correct number then i click on send otp so progress bar start working then after this firebase recapture verification on so you can see it is opened now click on just once so it will verify me whether i am a robot or not so now it verified me successfully now it will send the otp and i get the toast otp is sent so after you can see i get the otp i copy this otp and simply place the otp here so let us suppose if i try to enter wrong otp so instead of 12 if i type here 11 then i click on verify otp you can see i get the toast of login fail so if i enter correct otp now i click if i click on verify otp i successfully registered and i simply come on say profile activity from here i have to save my profile and then i have to send the data to database and then i can simply move to our chat activity so this is done so otp authentication work is complete now we have to move ahead and we have to write the code how we can write the code for our save the data on our database and the, how to save the data on cloud fire store as well as on real time database and how to store the image also so this code is also very going to very amazing and i will try to explain everything so if you don't like the video till now then please like the video and hit the like button and share this video with your friend and subscribe the channel also so now let's start writing the main code of our set profile activity so close this and double click on set profile and here we have to write our main code which is the most important code of our, of our application which will help to connect the user and show the all user whether the user is online offline so all main code come inside this activity so listen carefully all of the code so first of all let's declare some variables here so i simply type here app private 
card view and then I type here m get user image so this is our card view which I take inside on my xml file simply click on this and alt plus enter to remove the error now type here private image view then give any variable name I simply type here get user image in image view then simply type here private static int then give any variable name so I simply type here pick image so later I will tell you what is the working of this image for now simply type here 1 2 3 you can give any code it is your choice now type here private then you you have to type here URI and then you have to type here image path now press enter type here private edit text I will tell you all the working of these variable don't worry simply type here m get user name now type here private android dot widget dot button and give the button name m say profile now type here private firebase auth give the variable name firebase auth then type here private string give the variable name name then type here private firebase storage give the variable name firebase storage now type here private storage reference so we will see all the working of these variable after this when i will write the code for now simply give the variables name for with me now type here private string and give the variable name image uri access token then the some last variables are private firebase firestore give the variable name firebase firestore then semicolon now the last variable for m progress bar so i type here progress bar m progress bar offset profile so the variables are done now we have to sub first of all set the xml id into our java ids so press enter here and from here we can start writing the main code so first of all we have to take the instance of firebase auth so i simply type here firebase auth equal firebase auth dot get instance now we have to take the instance of firebase storage equal firebase storage dot get instance then we have to take the instance of storage reference storage reference equal firebase storage dot get reference so this storage reference will help to save the images on our database so this is just an instance of a storage it will redirect we have to it show just we are going to use storage but how we can store the image we have to use this storage reference which will indicate this so storage reference link to this firebase storage and this firebase storage link to this firebase storage which is the main one now below this we have to take the instance of firebase firestore equal firebase firestore dot get instance now we have to assign the xml into java ids m get username equal find view id r dot id dot get username m get user image equal find view id r dot id dot get user image m get user image in image view equal find view id r dot id dot get user image in image view m say profile equal find view id r dot id dot say profile m progress bar of set profile equal find view id r dot id dot this is our button name so this sorry for this mistake m so now if first of all we have to take the image from user so if user click on image view then we have to take the image from user so i simply type here m get user image dot set on click listener then new then capital o and press enter so after this first of all we have to use intent here intent has multiple uses like to open new activity to open the gallery to pick anything so i have to type here intent intent new intent then i have to type here intent dot action pick it will open the gallery media store then you have to type here images we have to go inside images folder then media dot internal content uri so it will open the dead thing where we, where all images are present then we have to run the start activity for result so what is the start activity for result after 
after getting the image after selecting the image by the user then we have to again open this activity set profile activity so this start activity for result means after running the intent we have to again we can easily come on back activity from where this is called so this called from set profile so that we can when we can easily come back on set profile again after our work is done so here we have to simply type here intent dot intent and the second parameter which we have to pass our request code which is i take earlier so this is done now after this it is not possible to pick image first of all we have to write some code um, also so it just open a gallery but it does not show the image or we can say it does not it just open the gallery so we have to take the image also and then we have to show that image which is selected by the user on our image view so for this we have to write code so press enter below this bracket and leave only one bracket and here we have to take an override method so at the rate override implement methods then you have to type here on activity result so it will it will help to set the image which is selected by the user on our main activity so first of all press enter first here then here we have to type here if request code equal equal pick image it means the you pick image and request code is fine and and result code equal equal result okay so what is this result okay it means user select the image so it will redefine it is okay now we have to simply take the URI of that image. So I take a variable of image path, URI variable of image path. So you can see I give the variable name here, image path. This is of the URI type. So I have to store the URI because image contains the URI. And I simply store that URI data dot get data. So it will give the URI inside this image path. And then we have to simply, after opening the our set profile activity, I have to show that image which is selected by the user. So for this, I simply type here mget user image view dot set image URI and inside this i can simply pass this variable name image path so the image code is done now we are able to successfully take the code image from the gallery now press enter now we have to write the code on button save profile button so if user click on m save profile dot set on click listener new then capital o and press enter now i already take a variable of name type name then i have to simply take the name which is entered by the user m get username get text to string so first of all we check some condition if name is empty then it means user does not any name and press, and press on save profile so we can display a toast toast dot make text get application context name is empty toast dot lens shot dot show now the second thing is else if image path equal equal null it means user does not select any image so because image uri consigned present inside image path so if image path equal equal null then user does not select an image so i can simply type here toast dot make text get application context image is empty then toast dot lens shot dot show now after this what we have to do if everything is fine then we have to send the data on our database so inside else part we have to first of all we can start the progress bar and progress bar of set profile set visibility visible then we have to send data we call this function i don't create this function till now don't worry send data for new user then semicolon now after this i simply type here and progress bar dot set visibility after sending the data we can make invisible progress bar and then we can simply start the new intent 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 new intent and we can simply type here set profile we can simply move the user from this activity to our chat activity dot class after doing everything then semicolon now we have to simply start the activity inside this pass intent then finish this activity finish this activity so now this is the main function send data for new user and every code of database firebase database real-time database cloud fire store and also firebase storage come inside this send data for new user so now press enter below this bracket and i will show i want to show the code so i will show you the code once again so you can see this is the bracket for this override method so press enter so at last you have must only have one bracket and here we have to create this function below this bracket so i can simply type here private void send data for new user then take two brackets so now we have to write all code of firebase inside this so inside this function first of all i will send the data on our real time database so i simply type here send data to real time 
database first of all i send the data on real time database then i will send the data on storage to store the image then i will send the data on our cloud firestore so i simply i have to create this function now so i simply type here private void send data to real time database and then i can simply place two double brackets now we have to write the code how we can send the data on our real time database so if you want to send the data on real time database then we have to create a class for sending the data on firebase firestore we don't need any class for sending the image on storage we don't need any class but for working with real time database we need a class so right click on your package name then new then you have to click on java class give the class name user profile you can give any name it is your choice then click on okay now here you have to mention things which you want to pass in your database so you can type anything here so i simply type here public then i give the name string user name and then user uid so i i want to pass only two things one is the username and one is the user uid so it is your choice whether you want to pass more details or not then i have to type here public user profile control z it is better to create use the inbuilt function so click on alt insert and click on getter and setters select both okay press enter we need a constructor alt insert sorry alt insert constructor select both okay now we need also empty constructor alt insert constructor select none okay so this is done now open set profile again now we are ready to work with this class now for sending the data on our database first of all we have to take the name from edit text so i simply type here m get username dot get text to string trim so name contain our name which is entered by the user now we have to take the instance of firebase real time database so i have to type here firebase database so this is the firebase real time database then firebase database equal firebase database dot get instance so you can also type this thing here it is your choice whether you want i don't type here i simply type here so you can type any here don't confuse why i not type here if you think now after this why you have to type here we have to take the object of database reference so i simply type here database reference then give any variable name i again give database reference equal firebase database dot get reference and inside this i have to pass the firebase auth dot get uid so what is this it will create the reference by the name of uid so we can store that data using this uid so in firebase real time database it is tree like structure so first of all it contain one thing so you can give any name here like you can pass string like users and then you can create the firebase auth uid i directly create the uid so it is your choice now after this what i have to do i have to pass two things so i have to use this class user profile so i have to simply type here user profile then you have to create the object name of this user profile so i can simply give the name here m user profile equal new user profile and inside this i have to pass two things first is name then second thing is firebase auth dot get uid because i want to pass two things on my real time database so if you wondering why i don't pass image here so i will let you everything after at last of the video so don't worry so you can see it is done now i simply pass two things if you need pass more things and then you can do it you have to simply ch make change inside user profile and then you have to simply pass these things here these parameters now we have to simply use database reference dot set value and inside this we have to pass m user profile so it will save the data on our database then we can simply make a toast toast dot make text get application context and inside this user profile added successfully this is very easy i hope you understand how to work with real time database toast dot lens shot then dot show now we have to send the image on our database so i simply type here send image to storage so i will i have to create this function now try to understand logic why i am not sending image on our real time database why first i will create this function private void send image so if user create a new profile on my application then if user go on to the profile section to see their profile then he he have to see only the name and also image so i can user does not want to see all user image on profile section user want to see only his image or her image so what we can do we can simply store the name on real time database and we can simply store the image on our storage so we can directly fetch this 
now but on chat activity i have to show the name of all user and also show the images of all user so when i will write the code for our cloud firestore then i will also show you how to pass image on database so in real time database i, I am simply passing name because i need only name when i want to fetch when user want to see the profile i don't and if user want to see the image of their profile then i can simply use the storage function and then i can retrieve the image but on cloud firestore when i send the data on cloud firestore i have to send both names and with images because if user want if user open the chat activity then i have to show names and images with, with of particular user so hope you understand why i not pass image here and i will show you how to write the code to pass the image with in database so i will show everything don't worry you will going to learn everything mastering the complete firebase so first of all if you don't like the video then please like the video now we have to send the image to the storage so first i simply send the data on real time database then i have to send the image to the storage and at last i will send the data on cloud firestore so you don't need to you don't have to send data on cloud firestore first because first of all we have to send the image so if we send the image then we get the access token of that image and then we can pass that action token of that image to the particular user on cloud firestore but so try to understand one thing let us suppose user register on our app then you uh, we we have to send the name and image on cloud firestore but if we don't have the image access to token then it doesn't make any sense so first of all we have to send the image to the storage then we get the access token and then after this we have to pass both thing on cloud firestore so hope you understand now let's move on to the send image to the storage now there is one more thing we can write the simple code to send send image to the storage but it doesn't it can work but it will make your application slow because if your phone is high quality and if it clicks 8 mb images 10 mb images then or when you retrieve these images it will going to take lots of time so i have to use here image compression technique so after image compression then we can pass that compressed image to our storage so 10 mb images can easily convert it to 300 kb using this technique so i will show you how to write this code so let's start writing that code send image to cloud firestore so first of all we have to take the reference of storage reference type storage reference image ref i simply give the image ref here then we have to create the path where you want to store the image so i simply type here storage reference dot child inside this i can simply type here images which will hold the all images then i can simply type here child then i can create one document of firebase or that get uid which will hold the particular user image so images is the main folder and inside this we have to particular uid as according to users then i can simply create the child so it is your choice whether you want to create child or not and inside this we can simply type here profile pick then semicolon now for from here we have to start writing the code of image compression so we have to type here bitmap so this kind of code you will not going to find on youtube so if you don't like the video then please like the video bitmap bitmap null by default i store inside this null then we have to use try catch so try inside this bitmap equal media store dot images dot media dot get bit bitmap and inside this we have to use get content resolver and inside this we have to pass our image path so it will show whether the image contains something or not so it's showing error because i don't add a catch here so simply type here catch and inside this i have to type here io exception if some exception is occur and inside this give any exception name i give e then semicolon so you can then brackets and you can see error is gone and we can simply print that error so if you want to print then you can do now bit, inside bitmap now we have our final image so now we have to compress that image so we have to use here byte array option output stream then give any object name new byte array output stream then semicolon now below this we have to type here bitmap dot compress inside this you have to type here bitmap dot compress format dot jpg and we can you have to pass any quality parameter i simply type here 25 it will decrease the it will take the quality to 25 but quality will not decrease but the size will decrease and inside this we have to pass the object name of byte array stream then semicolon now after this we have to store that byte array inside this array so i simply type here byte array then i give the variable name data then inside this you have to type here byte array output stream dot two byte array so it will create the array of our image type now our image is successfully compressed and this image is stored inside our data now for putting the image on our database storage putting image so i have to use here upload task upload task then give any variable name i give upload task then we can call this using image ref put bytes 
and inside this we can pass our data which contain the final compressed image now below this we can simply add a success listener upload task dot ads on success listener new then capital o and press enter so inside this if everything is fine then it means our image is successfully added on our database so inside this first of all after sending the image on database i have to take the url of that image because i want to store that image url on our cloud fire store which help to fetch the user image so i simply type here image i simply type here image ref dot get download url add on success listener so it will tell whether the url is successfully downloaded or not so i can simply type this and if it happens successfully then we can store this url inside our image uri access token variable and inside this i simply type here uri dot to string so this uri contain that url and i will com contain convert this uri to string and after this i can simply type here toast dot make text and on the runtime i will show everything how it works so don't worry if you're not under, able to understand anything so i simply type here uri get success and i simply type here toast dot lens shot dot show and after this after getting the ui i have to call the function send data to cloud fire store then semicolon so it will show error because i don't add a i don't create this function till now so don't worry now inside this we can add a on a failure listener if something wrong happen then i can simply use this and simply i can display a toast uri get fail it mean every net is not working or anything else and also this i can add on failure listener here it means image is not uploaded successfully so i can simply type here image not uploaded so this is done now we can add a semicolon here now if you want if you want to get the toast of where you have to write the toast of image uploaded successfully so you can type the toast chat toast here so this is something wrong happens so simply cut this code from here control x cut and simply paste the code here and here add a semicolon and i can simply type here control v Cont i can simply type here toast dot make text get application context and then simply type here image is uploaded then toast length then dot show so now i will show you what is the how it is code working so <clears throat> first of all i call this function upload task so if everything is happened successfully if on success i can simply call this function again get download url so if uri get success then it is fine so this is on failure this is on failure of this image ref so after this on failure below this i can simply this toast message come inside this on success if image is successfully on on success you can see this toast come here and this on failure of this image success whether the image is uploaded or not so hope you understand now if everything is done then we can successfully get the uri now we have to send the data on our real time database sorry cloud fire store so there are last last code is done so first add a extra space from here it will create confusion so click on this and take bulb here create method Just create method anonymous inside set profile click on this set profile and press enter so it will create this function so now we can write the code how to send the data on cloud fire store and that will be the last code then i will run the app then i will show you how everything is work so don't worry now for sending the data on cloud fire store we have to create the hash map so simply type here document reference document reference equal then firebase fire store firebase fire store dot collection inside this we can simply create a collection of users and then i can simply create a document of particular user so i simply type here firebase or that get, get uid then semicolon so it will create this collection now we have to create a map map inside this we have to pass the string first then second thing we have to pass our object then the give any map name then i give the user data then you have to type here new hash map and that's it now add a semicolon now click on this and press alt plus enter to import this map now inside this we have to use simply user data this variable name user data dot we have to we can put anything whichever you want so i can simply first parameter i want to pass name so this is the key which will store the name and what i what i value i want to pass name which contain the username then i have to pass user data dot put 
inside this i second thing i want to pass this image image equal and inside this i have to pass image uri access token so which will contain the access token which will help to retrieve the image using picasso library glide library so this image uri access to token i want to pass because i on run time when i will fetch the all user i also want to fetch that user's image so that's why i have to pass that thing here but on real time i don't need to pass this thing so hope you understand why i don't pass image uri access to token in real time but if if you want to pass this you can also do this now user data dot put and inside this third parameter i want to pass the uid then inside this i can simply type here parvis or that good uid then and it is compulsory to pass the uid later i will tell you what is the working but for now it is compulsory then the last thing i have to pass the status what is the current status of user so when whenever user creating the profile new profile then i can simply pass the status online so it will first time when user creating the new profile then we can pass this now we have to simply type a document reference dot set user data that add on success listener so this is just a code and i hope you understand every code and i will i try i make the code in very easy and you will not find the this kind of easiest code on entire youtube so please support me because if you support me then i will try to bring more and more project so i can simply type here data on cloud firestore send success so you can give any message it is your choice then toast dot lens shot and after this dot show so it is your choice whether you want to add an all on failure listener it is your choice completely depend on you i don't going to use this or add on failure listener so this is done now we have to check our app whether the our app is working so this is over for this video first of all let's check our app and then i will run the app then i will show you whether it is working or not and if it is working fine then i will open the firebase console and i will show you how all data is stored so for this i have to connect my phone so my phone is successfully connected and i press on run button and gradle start building so let's wait for gradle build and after the gradle build we will first we will use the application and i recommend you please uninstall the previous application which already installed in your phone because why because i write i write the code in main activity if user is already logged in then we can skip that activity and we directly move on to the chat activity so set profile activity is not going to open if you not uninstall the app so please uninstall the app then we will write the code then we will first sign in the user using otp and then we will send the data to database so this is the same logic with whatsapp if you uninstall whatsapp then you can and if you reinstall whatsapp reinstall the whatsapp then you have to simply enter your number and then you have to save your profile again so this is the same logic i use which is used so it doesn't matter whether you are a new user it doesn't matter whether you are existing user if you are existing user then it will override your your previous data if you are new user then it will create new document because we store all data using uids so every uid is one time your uid so if you have one number then you have only one uid it doesn't matter whether you taking otp again and again it always the uid is always be same so hope you understand now let's wait for a gradle build so now our app is built successful now it will install the application inside my phone so now application installed successfully first of all it shows splash screen then i have to select country so by default country is selected my then i have to enter my phone number so then i click on send otp so it will start the progress bar then click on just once so now it will verify whether i am a robot or human now i simply copy this otp and simply paste the otp here then i click on verify otp so otp is verified successfully so i come on save profile activity so first of all i have to pick image so let us suppose if i click on save profile so you can see name is empty so first of all i pick the image from camera so i simply select this image you can select any image it is your choice so now it show the image selected by the user on your image view now i enter my name brijesh then i click on save profile it start user profile edit successfully it means data sent to firebase and real time database image is uploaded it means and uri get success so it means our so this process is very fast and data also sent on cloud firestore so it means everything is done perfectly so now let's clear this app and run this app again so i successfully come on my chat activity again so you can see the main activity code is work fine which help to whether the user logged in or not so this is done now i will come on to the firebase console and show you how everything is work 
so let's minimize this and let's close the android studio because my android studio is my computer is very slow so i have to close it to open the chrome browser now i double click on chrome inside your search bar simply type here firebase console it will open the console now net is slow so it's why that's why the page is not loading successfully so refresh it so now you can see it is our my chat app tutorial project so i click on this and you will check that app whether it is working or not by assigning by different numbers so you can check it whether our app code is work fine or not so i only register one user but you can you register multiple user using different numbers and you can verify whether our app is working or not and if there is problem you can tell me in comments so now let's first come into our authentication part <clears throat> so you can see i am only the one user and this is my phone number here so now come inside our firestore database so let's show first i will show the real time database then i will show the firestore database so first i sending the data on our real time database so as you already know how i create the i simply set the data using an uid so this is my uid so this uid and this authentication uid is unique uid and it will same for only one number it will never be changed it doesn't matter whether you again sign in or not it will be going to same every time so inside this i simply store the uid and the name so this is the data on store real time database now after this i simply send the image on my storage and what is the path of my image so Im inside images folder so inside this uid you can see this is the same uid which is my number then inside this profile pic section and this is the image which i sent so and the size of the image you can see three lakh bytes so if i don't write the code if i if i was not write the code for image compression then it th this size going to be like 90 or 1 crore bytes so you can convert this byte to mb or kb it is your choice now how can i access this image so you can see this is the image uri which will help to access the image so you can see this is the access token so if i copy this access token and simply paste the access token in new tab then i can get this image so you can see this is the image so hope you understand why this access token is important and why i send the image first on storage because i need this access token before sending the data on cloud firestore because on retrieving the data i need to retrieve the images also now come inside our firestore database and then inside this this is the user section then is the user uid and after this you can see this is the Im image access token inside the image value then name bridges status online i don't write the code for offline and this is the uid so it means everything is fine so everything is fine and this is the end of this part and this is the end of this part now in the next part we will write the code how to retrieve the data from our database how to update the profile and how to state so the status online or offline and then in the next part the fourth part is going to the final part of our chat application where we will write the code how to chat between two users so i hope you understand everything if you have any query you can comment down below i try to give the answer of every comment i try to give my 100 percent to this chat app series so please share this series with your friends and anyone who want to do android development please share my channel so if you share my if you support me then i will try to bring more and more projects so thank you see you soon in next amazing video